A local basketball tournament is defending its decision to not allow a talented 10 year old girl to play on a boys team in its event. It's a decision that stirred a divided reaction and earned national attention. News 13's Alex Goldsmith reports. We appreciate uh, the support for those that, that have supported us. Barry Bates 10 year old daughter Jalen may be small, but she's causing a huge stir partly because she plays with the boys. The girls didn't really give me a competition. But as News 13 reported Monday, New Mexico Select, a youth basketball organization, is refusing to let Jalen play on her fourth grade boys club team at their upcoming tournament. The tournament's rule, only boys on boys teams. The story is now getting attention nationally and creating a big divide locally. Hour number three of the sports bar here on 610 The Sports Animal. It's a hot topic on radio. I really wish that the, the adult issues wouldn't take away from a child's happiness. One call caught our attention. New Mexico Select declined an on-camera interview or an on-the-record interview, but they didn't have a problem talking to Sports Talk Radio today. They turned it into something personal, and, and it's never been personal. Joseph Jaramillo is New Mexico Select's executive director. He says the rule keeping Jalen off the court isn't new. Even though girls have played before, the rules being enforced more strictly this year because of parent complaints. Jaramillo says Jalen's not being kept out because she might embarrass the boys. Trey Basketball Academy is not the only club. Or this little girl is just, with this team is the only one that we've said no to. We've said no to all of them. Jalen's club and her parents have an attorney and are headed to court. Meanwhile, Jalen's focused on another court, a tournament in Arizona that does let girls play with the boys. We're ready to get back to business. We got Phoenix coming up next week. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll bring a trophy home in New Mexico. Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13. Bates says his attorney is expected to file for an injunction either tomorrow or Friday. The tournament tips off in two weeks.